So now in this section, I'm going to walk you through the installation of Apache. So first, let's open up a browser and let's check to see if there's currently a web server running at yourbank.com. So we're going to type yourbank.com. The page resolves to nothing, so this tells us that there isn't. So let's minimize the browser and now let's execute the following command in order to install Apache on that host. So sudo apt-get install, the package is Apache 2, and we'll confirm the installation with the dash y. And then we'll provide our sudo password. Now, once we get the package installed at yourbank.com, the way that we're going to verify that the installation worked as planned is we're going to look at Apache's test page. Now, we're going to start looking at where we get these files from, how we can view the makeup of the file on the client side, and also where the file came from on the server side. So here we can see that the package installed correctly. So we're going to go back to our browser, we'll do a page refresh, and here's that test page. Now if we want to view what actually makes up this web page, we're going to right click and view the page source. So inside of there we can just see HTML. Now when the HTML gets rendered, this is what we see that makes up the page. Now if we want to view where we actually get this file from, we're going to visit the web services directory on the backend server. So that path on this version of Ubuntu for an Apache installation, it, the default path is var www. Now if we list the contents of that directory, we're going to see the file name that we're viewing is index.html. Now if we want to view this file on the server side, we can use the cat command for this to actually print it to the terminal. So we'll do cat and then it's var www and then index.html. So now the reason that we're doing this what we're going to find out later on in later labs is that the contents of the files that you're actually viewing for your web pages, that they're going to be different on the client side than they are on the server side. So there's going to be certain things that we're going to find certain like programming languages that are only visible on the server side and not visible on the client side. 